Josephine Gordon is an apprentice jockey on a serious upward curve. Based with Stan Moore, Josephine has been on a winning roll so far in 2016 and looks to build on that this summer, with a potential crack at the Apprentice Jockey Championship in mind. Luke Harvey went to meet one of racing's rising stars. So tell us a bit about yourself. Do you come from a, a, a racing background or a horsey background? How did it pan out for you? Um, well, we've always had horses at home. Um, say 2025 20, just ponies and a bit of eventing then we ended up coming across a uh, a pony and I've ended up pony racing her we couldn't do much else with her and uh, from there really I decided I wanted to attempt to be a jockey and, and what part of the world do you come from uh, I'm from uh, North Devon and so when did you start riding out for different trainers then uh, I rode a few pointers when I was like 14 15 just a bit of fun um, but in Devon there's not really much flat racing, so I obviously had to make a move. And looking at you, <laughs> you were never going to be a jump jockey, were you? No, I'm a little, little bit too light to be a jump jockey. <laughs> and so you said you started off in, in pony racing. Tell us how that sort of all developed. Um, I've just done a bit of pony racing and, uh, to be honest, my pony wasn't very good. But um, I went from there and went into the racing school and done the, the nine-week course there. Um, and they placed me at Annabelle, uh, Annabelle Kings, uh, and I'd done two years there and then moved, uh, moved to Lambourne. So you went to the British Racing School. How did you find that? Were you better or, or were you not as, quite as good as you thought you, perhaps you might be? Um, I mean, I think the racing school is probably mainly set up, uh, the nine week course especially, is mainly set up for people who've not really ridden or not had much to do with horses. And I think it's very good for that. Um, but no, I, I learnt I learnt a lot. Obviously, it's a different type of riding from uh, doing a bit of jumping and dressage to uh, attempting to be a jockey. <laughs> and did that come easy to you? Uh, no, I, I mean it, it did take a while. You know, the likes of holding horses. It's it's the opposite to what what I was taught before. And so, so what's it been like then since you've been to Lambourne? Tell us about that. Um, Lambourne, no, Lambourne's uh, it's been a good experience, and I've learnt loads. Um, I was with Jo Hughes there for two years, and she's taught me loads. Um, no, it's, I'm really enjoying it. I love it. Love working racing. And I would imagine Stan Moore's is, is quite a quite a fun place to work, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Stan Stan's good fun. He's uh, he's entertaining and he's very helpful, which is good. And it's not it's not a case of just pitch up at the races. I mean, if you're an apprentice, you have to work. Tell us what time you'd start in the day and, and how your day sort of pans out. Um, I mean, we we start about six, go in and we'll tack up and muck out, and then. Um, kick on there really do five six lots a day and then off off racing um or, or if i'm not racing i'll go in and do evening stables you know you do have to graft so tell us about your how many rides you had before you had a winner was it uh i had my winner was on my ninth ride uh which was an apprentice race at bath um no talk, talk us through that go on what you remember about that to be honest, not much. <laughs> it was uh, kind of over in a flash. Uh, obviously, it was. It felt really good. Um, but I didn't have a clue what I was doing. But <laughs> it's, it's only my ninth ride, you know, and you learn from it. And do you, when you look back on it, do you are you astounded at how much you've improved? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, uh, I think it probably takes you know 20, 30 rides until you know where where you are in a race and what you want to be doing in a race. And um, you know, when I when I had that winner, I just I just went a little bit mad. <laughs> Did you? Oh, I don't blame you. That's, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It's funny, isn't it, when you're riding out and you get used to your riding out britches and boots at home and then you put the racing gear on, it, it, it feels so different. How did you cope with that? It does, yeah. No, definitely it does. Um, but they, they are very good in the weighing room, you know, all the, all the senior jockeys as such. They'll, they'll be there to offer advice, help. Do you look, do you look up to it? Are there any that you especially think oh that's who i'd like to be that is the business uh yeah of course no there's definitely a few um and and they they are helpful um i do think a lot of obviously kathy gannon I've, as i've said previously i think she's very good is that is that as a rider or her work ethic both you know um she's she's had to graph um for everything you know and and she's paid off because she, she does so well and obviously she she had a had a break there with an injury and there's not many that can come back and get rides as well as winners and she's doing brilliantly. Come on and y yourself what about what do you see as your 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 core strengths as a rider and what are your weaknesses? Um, I think my strengths are uh, probably learning from my mistakes as, as much as I can 
and and try and help that. Um, I have a I have a, obviously a lot of weaknesses. Being apprentice, I've got still got to learn. Um, mainly it would be my left hand uh, with a stick, but I think in time that will come, you know. Obviously, I'm watching racing all the time on ATR, but you really came to my attention at Brighton. It was a hands and heels race. You end up finishing third, but you look really good, tight and strong. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I went uh, a while there without a winner, and I was kind of always um, out the back, tailed off, so I could, I could practice that and practice pushing as such. I, I think it's um, probably riding horses like that has taught me. You know, it's not, it's not the winners that have taught me. It's riding 100 to 1 shots, maybe. And have you been surprised how your career has snowballed? Yeah, I mean, it kind of all, all of a sudden happened. Um, I'm still pinching myself as such. So how many winners was it last season? Uh, 16 I had last season. And you were sort of riding for, you start off riding, you know, the odd one on the old weather and little races, and then suddenly you seem to have been picked up and, and people seem to be using you all the time now. Yeah, yeah, no, it's good. I mean, I had um, a few winners there on the bounce for Stan Moore, and um, obviously I got noticed from that, and uh, no, brilliant, she's going uphill now. You do need, as an apprentice, you do need a boss that's willing to let you make a few mistakes, you know, if you work hard, and, and Stan wouldn't just give you rides if you didn't think you were good enough, would he? No, 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 um, obviously I did make, I still do mis make mistakes, but back then obviously I did, and we'd always sit down in the office and he'd tell me what I've done wrong. And then um, we'd go from there, and he, you know, he'd still keep putting me up and giving me the chances. And agent-wise, who's your agent? Uh, Phil Shea. I've probably had Phil Shea for oh, about a year now, just under a year, and he's, you know, since I've had him, I think that's been very helpful. Really, it, yeah. what is in the sense of just him getting your eyes, or does he tell you? Yeah, I mean, he's he's the same. Obviously, he'll tell me what I've done wrong, what I've got to improve on, but um, he's helped get my name out there a lot. Mm. And do you think there's been so much made of the sort of the, the girl boy thing that seems to have almost disappeared now doesn't it? Uh, I think at one point it was a big thing. Um, it's definitely not not as noticeable nowadays is it? No. I don't, in, in, a, in a bizarre sort of way, don't take this the wrong way, I think sometimes if you can ride and, and you're a female rider you've almost got an advantage because you're, you know, you're, 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 you're noticed, you know, people, you know, obviously someone winning the Melbourne Cup, you know, everything that Haley did, you know, it, it does, that stigma's gone really, hasn't it? Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. I think um, even as an apprentice, male or female, it's hard work. It is hard work and it's whether you can stick it out, um, you know, and I think, I think it doesn't matter now. Do you know what's interesting as well? I, I'm sure when you've been at the race and it's gone all the various different yards you've ridden out, there's been people that perhaps are a, were better riders than you or you think were excellent riders, but for one reason or another, it's hard work and it's, it's just riding is just a small part of the jigsaw, isn't it? It is, definitely, no. I mean, uh, you could be the best rider going and, uh, and also not work hard for it, you know? A, a lot of trainers pick up on that, um, grafting as such. Mm. And as far as yourself, you started off absolutely superbly this year. I mean, you've, I'm just looking at the trains you've ridden for, David Barron, Hugo Palmer, Michael Bell. I mean, you're, you're flying, aren't you? Yeah, no, I mean, um, it's brilliant, brilliant to get um, winners for that, and especially in Newmarket as well. Um, try and get my name around Newmarket a bit more and uh, get noticed, because there's a lot of trainers there. Do, do you ride out in Newmarket ever? I do, yeah, I go in there once a week. Um, I ride out for a few people there. Phil mcintyre has been brilliant. Obviously, I've ridden a lot of winners for him now. So one of your, one of your better winners is Indira for John Berry? Yeah, no, uh, I've, I've ridden Indira a few times now and had um, three wins on Indira. Tell us about when you won on North at Bar. In theory, everything was kind of uh, against us that day. Uh, I didn't think she'd go on the ground. The pace was too slow, but she ended up winning on the bridle easily. And then she came out of that race um, a few days later and went and won at Chester. And that's probably been my best career winner so far. Um, right, I've never ridden around Chester, so it was my first ride, and it was a, a brilliant buzz, brilliant feeling. That's quite an experience, wasn't it? Was, it was, yeah, no, it was good fun. The other thing, a horse is, doesn't matter how good a rider you are, some people, horses seem to run for, and they, they plainly seem to run for you. And, and you've done well on, on difficult horses, none more so than gentlemen. Uh, yeah, no, uh, gentlemen, he is, he is a tricky horse, and fair play to Phil McEntee, because you have to have a lot of patience with him. Um, not only is he hard on the race course, he's, he's hard work at home, you know, a lot of people would struggle to train him.
But um, why? What does he do? Uh, if he's not running forward, then he's stopping and running backwards. You know, he's he's just a little bit tricky. But Phil seems to get on with him really well. Um, but he, when he does get to the race course and decides he wants to put in, then he's brilliant. You know, you, he's a brilliant little horse. Now, looking you down, you know, as a, as a versatile rider, obviously you can be you can be sort of coax horses like that. But on the other side of it, when you went on Save My Bacon at Subtle, that was a really strong ride. It was a real sort of defining ride for me. You really grabbed hold of the horse. Yeah, no, um, I I thought I was in trouble to be honest. Um, I I was ha it was it worked in my favour. They went hard, and obviously I was off it the whole way. And, when they've kind of stopped, I'm still going, you know. Save my bacon, serving it up late on to chuck his lass and save my bacon, comes from off the pace to score. Joe, you've ridden obviously a lot of winners on your weather, but to ride on turf against better jockeys on better horses, how have you found that? Um, <clears throat> no, obviously it's, it is intimidating, you know, if you're, you're riding against the top jockeys, but you've still just got to give it your all, you know. You're there, the owners, the trainers are trusting you to ride the horse, so. And it gives you, I'd imagine it gives you that extra buzz as well. It does, definitely, no, it's just gives you a bit more confidence, you know, and likes to ride two-year-olds first time out as well, you know. Um, it's a brilliant opportunity and I've, I feel like I can, I've learned a lot from that. Have you, have you watched stuff, I mean, just from, from watching at the races every day and we watch you ride all the time, you've got much tighter, you're much, in, much more in behind the horse, there's no sort of flapping of elbows, you look, you look really neat on a horse now. Yeah, I think um, obviously I've had a lot more rides and that's uh, practice and like I say, I, I re-watch and re-watch myself to see if, if you're tight then you look strong, you know, you are strong. You, you did so well last season, this season's going so brilliantly for you. Where do you see that ultimately going? Would you, could you see yourself being perhaps champion apprentice? Um, to be honest, that's that's my aim as such. I'm going for. Um, I was all weather apprentice champion, which was brilliant. But um, no, I'd like to go that another uh, another step forward. And and the way and the way you're going, that, that it's it's realistic, isn't it? Uh, we've got a long Come season. We've long season ahead of us yet, but yeah, let's hope so. What, what, are, what are the jockeys, I know you said that you admire Cathy Gannon, what are the jockeys that, that, that you really look up to and you think, if I could ride, if I had the style or the strength in a finish, that is the one I'd like to be like? Um, I think probably George Baker, I think um, he's very he's very good with horses, you know, he's a very good horseman as such, and he seems to get, get everything up on the line, pick them up literally, you know. He think he, he's a... He's a He's a thinking man's jockey, isn't he? He thinks about what he's going to do. Yeah. You know. No, very clever man. Yeah, yeah. And, and what about the trainers? Have you found riding for, for the big trainers? What was it like? I mean, when, when your agent phoned you said you're riding for Michael Bell or, or Hugo Palmer, it must have been quite a shock. It was, no, it was a shock, but, um, you know, you, you've got to not let you, it get the better of you, you know? I was excited rather than nervous. And how did they treat you? Were they just fine? Uh, just, you know, just the same, which is good, just brilliant then. And, and when you get off a horse, do you feel that you've, you've, you've improved of how you assess the race and how, how, you, how you convey that to the trainer and an owner? Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, um, obviously, your first few rides, I'd, I'd get off and I wouldn't really have a clue. Yeah, it ran well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but now, now you obviously, I mean, that's such a part of it, isn't it? You see the better jockeys, the other jockeys will scuttle off back to them weighing yeah. them, and they'll see the better jockeys there just analysing and, you know, helping, helping the trainer sort perhaps the best trip or the best ground for the horse. Yeah, no, definitely. And I think um, that comes with more rides as well. I've, I've definitely been able to pick up what trip a horse needs, ground as such, you know. And have you coped with all the, the, the travelling? Because you're so busy now. You're, you're riding every day. And do you find that tiring? Or? Uh, to be honest, that's probably actually the hardest part, the travelling. Yeah, no, it is. Definitely. Go, going, going up north is, uh, you know, it's a long trip. If you were to sort of sum up how your how your career's gone so far and, and, and what you're looking forward to, what will you say to us? Uh, no, uh, obviously it took me a while to get going, um, but I couldn't be happier now, you know, it, I didn't, I never expected this, you know, when I first went into racing, I, the aim was to obviously get rides and I was happy with one ride and then I got a winner, you know, so um, no, just, just hope the future, hope, hopefully we keep kicking.